Hi, my name is Justin Lovett. I'm a documentary filmmaker based here in Seoul, South Korea. And this is our channel, A Little Creative, A Little Organized. So in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to shoot 960 frames per second, super slow-mo on the Sony ZV-1. This camera is about 780 bucks, I think. Hey. It's definitely one of the cheapest cameras out there to be able to shoot this slow. Actually, I don't even know the specs, but I assume it's just 8-bit 1080p. But it's not the best quality, but I haven't found another camera that can shoot this slow for this price. Anyways, this is how you do it. It's not that complicated, this recording. First, you have to go into HFR mode. Then it has exposure modes, program auto, aperture priority, shutter priority, or full manual. Program auto, basically you can control the ISO to adjust the exposure. Aperture priority, you use aperture. I mean this, you really should keep the aperture all the way open because when you're shooting this, shooting this slow, um, you're gonna need a lot of light. So you wanna keep everything as low as possible. The main thing you wanna be adjusting is your ISO probably. So honestly, I would suggest going into manual so you can't adjust everything you want. So right now, my ISO is at 3200 and my aperture is at 1.8 and my shutter speed's at 1 over 250. Uh, you can't go lower than 1 1,000th because you're shooting 960 frames per second, but you can see how much darker it's getting just by me changing the shutter speed a little bit. I mean, I probably wouldn't shoot anything that slow in here. Also, there's a ton of flicker with these lights I have in the background. So I would just recommend shooting 1 1,000th or 1 250 aperture all the way open and ISO, use the ISO to adjust, to adjust your exposure. If you want to change the settings of HFR, you have to go into menu. So click on the menu button on your camera. And then if you look up, it's on the second tab, with the purple tab with camera two. It's one out of, it's page one out of nine. Go down to HFR settings. This one you want on 60. You can adjust your frame rate here. So you can do slower modes, like 480 frames per second, 240 or 960. I'm doing mine at 960 because I want this really slow. And then priority settings, you want quality over shoot time. And then record timing. This is important because you can do start trigger, end trigger, or end trigger half. Because when you press record, it's only gonna record for a very short amount of time. I, th I think it's like five seconds. And when you press the start trigger, it will record everything after five seconds or whatever action you're doing. So maybe it's like a water balloon popping. You can watch for the water balloon to pop and maybe wait one second after, then press record and it will have recorded everything that had happened just before you pressing record. So it depends on what you're recording. I have it on start trigger right now, but end trigger also works well. I would probably put on end trigger for anything where I want to make sure I have the completed action and the before and after time isn't as important. For now, I guess I'll just leave it on start trigger. So once that's all set, then you can go back to HFR shooting mode. And then if you want to adjust the settings, you press the, the center button in the dial. You press that to start adjusting your exposure settings. And then when you're ready to shoot, you press it again. And then it will say preparing. And then it says starts recording with movie button. So whatever you want to then shoot. I mean, I don't, maybe we can shoot my ring spinning. So, so it's out of focus right now, right? So I'm going to press the center button, get it in focus, and then spin this guy. Okay, and you can see it's already kind of noisy, actually, the footage. I mean, we're at 2000 ISO, but... Um, and then also once, so right now it's being played back at 60 frames per second, and it's already slowed down. Once you get onto your computer, you can slow it down by 50% again, safely. You can slow it down even more to probably 25, I've slowed it down to 25%, but you might need to do a little bit of frame blending or some other extra steps just to make it look smooth. I mean, just play around with it. That's what film is. You're playing around with footage. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want as long as it looks good or looks how you want it to look. Maybe you want it to look kind of, uh, like stutter, staggered or not a smooth flow through the shutter through the frame rate but yeah just you know do what you want 
everyone's just fooling around and making mistakes and changing things and anyways that's it for this video that's how you shoot sony uh super slow-mo and sony the sony zv-i camera it's definitely one of the cheapest cameras out there to be able to shoot this slow and here's some of the footage i got just quickly with will and cohen oh, oh, please excuse me your honor but you can't hold me no longer can't you feel the vibrations? I broke out and left traces. Go ahead, try and catch me if you can, man. You'll be looking all night, I'm the same, man. New York, London, to Japan. I'm gonna show the whole world who I am. Boom, boom, boom. Major look, huh? Anyways, that is it. That's the video. If you are an amateur videographer or cameraman, I would totally recommend this camera. Or if you're a blogger, I would recommend this camera. And if you're a documentary filmmaker who need a, like a little side camera for small random things um, or need to give over to the talent or something, I would also recommend this camera. That's it. If you loved it, like it. And please subscribe.